Hello and welcome back to Uncut XCOM here on iBlueWear JGR Gaming for Comedy. We are staring at the Advent Black Site once again. This is where my last playthrough sort of pretty much took a turn for the worst and ended. But now, in the new playthrough, this is where it's going to begin. Okay, so let's launch this bad boy up. We're still in pretty much in the early game right now. Uh, we've still got all conventional weapons, you know, minus the gremlin, of course. Uh, and we don't have a lot of skills and abilities, so we're kind of going at this bare bones. I know for a fact that there is a sort of scaling difficulty to things, so I'm not going to get here with my conventional stuff and then some some flying motherfucker with mega lasers is going to come. No, it's not, it's not going to be like this. It's going to be okay. Uh, the main thing, though, before we start, there's not too much that I can do with my loadout, except what I am going to do is I'm going to give my ranger the flashbang, and I'm going to give my specialist the medkit, because it just seems fitting, doesn't it? But this is pretty much all we have to work with. There's nothing special, so let's just get on the field and get going. Okay, it's time It's time to put in some work. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, though. I'm, I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit shaken, but let's just listen to Central as soon as we get on the sky on the Sky Ranger, and he'll calm us down. He'll he'll help us calm down. Here we go. Our contacts in the local resistance have shown us how to access the Advent Black Site. The aliens worked hard to keep this place under the radar, and we don't know what we're going to find in there. Keep your heads up. Expect heavy opposition. Here we go. We're coming in hot. All right, I'm ready. Central, to the, the the sultry voice of Central helped me calm down, so I'm I'm ready to kick things off. Uh, okay, so we are at the black site. We got to get all the way across the map to get into here, and then our main objective is it's it's somewhere in that facility. And then once we get it, we go to the evac point and we get the hell out of Dodge. Okay, now that we've We've officially landed, we're in concealment, we can sort of start tiptoeing around. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna go, but uh, I think I'm gonna start off by crawling over to that window. Uh, yeah, but, you know, so, oh, Who knows how long cutscene. Keeping these storage units running down here. No, this is like storage units for bodies. Okay, so since we're in concealment, I, we do have a little bit of time to so to just talk about stuff, and I, I got a comment the other day on one of our older videos from 2013, and that's always a treat, because our old videos, uh, uh, without, without being too self-deprecating, they, they weren't very good. Uh, and by that, I mean, so in 2013, how old was I in 2013? I was... I was 20 years old in 2013. I want to. Get, I'm trying to get somebody on the roof, by the way. That's why I'm. I'm setting up by this ladder, so I can potentially sneak up to the. There we go. I was trying to select this troop. Okay. I'm trying to put the sniper on the roof. Always trying to put your snipers on the roof. They can do big things on the roof. Okay. I'm gonna end the turn there. So I, I was, I, I'm pretty sure I was 20 in 2013 because I'm 23 now. So it, it just seems, seems to make sense that things went that way. Uh, you know, the aging process, I don't think I've, I've rapidly aged at all at any point. Although you, you might say being out of college and being in the real world ages you very quickly. Um, but no, yeah, I'm pretty sure I was, I was 20 years old in 2013. And when I was 20 years old, like most... 20 year olds in the world okay it doesn't look like there's a turret up here so i get i'm gonna do a, make make a bold play there's an, oh. Stay clear of those turrets. okay sure if there is a turret up here and honestly i i feel like i should take it out before i actually move in uh further so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring my other troops up to the top and then on the next turn we're gonna take them out but I'll, i'm gonna keep telling the story so when i was 20 like most 20 year olds i was full i was full of myself all right and and i'm I, i'm willing to say with with great confidence that most people especially dudes in their 20s we think we're the shit and and for good reason right dudes in their 20s 
you know, you're, you're in the prime of your life when you're 20. You know, you feel good. You, you, you can basically get kicked in the nuts and then stand up, walk it off the next day. If I was to get kicked in the testicles today, I would be incapacitated for... Uh, what? Are they showing me that bird landing on the floor? Okay. It, if, it, you know, it, it, what I'm trying to say, when I get injured now that I'm 23 years old, it takes me a little while to recover. But back then, I thought I was the best. All right, th there were so many things that were different when I was 20 years old. And my point in saying all that is YouTube is like a time capsule, right? Because the, the, the sort of, okay, so I'm not going to put anybody on Overwatch because it's just a turret. But what I'm going to, um, okay, we're, we're just going to open up on this thing. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on wait, 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 wait. There's a little trick that I saw about turrets that you can actually, uh, I'll finish the story, don't worry. You can actually destroy a turret in, in one shot if you destroy the ground with, with which the turret is using to stand. So I'm going to lob this grenade at the turret and it's going to fall off the freaking roof. Boom goes the di- it's gone. It's just gone. <laughs> yeah, sure, I broke concealment to do that, but come on, the turret is just gone. So at this point, I'm gonna stay on the roof, uh, but there aren't any pods nearby, so I'm, I'm, I'm not too worried about actually uncovering anything, but I also don't want to creep into a bad position. So I'm actually just going to kind of move up a little bit and then end my turn. Because when I walk up to the to the railing, I might actually accidentally trigger a pod and I don't want that to happen. Okay, so my point is YouTube is like a time capsule, right? We used to, uh, when I say we, I mean I blew our JGR gaming for comedy. Myself, my good friend Jay, who uh, originally started the channel. For us, YouTube is essentially a time capsule. It, it is a record of what position. we were doing when we were younger. You know, all the, all the shenanigans, the, w the way we acted, the way we talked, all of that stuff is forever preserved on our YouTube channel. Sure, we could take it down. We could right rifle there. through it and delete every single video that we've ever made. Uh, you know, especially all the, the terrible ones where I'm swearing like a fucking sailor. Yeah, I still, I still curse now, but it's, it's way less. It's way less. Uh, especially when I'm recording, but uh, my point is, we leave that stuff up because for us, it's it, it's a time capsule. You know, it's 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 a record of where we where we used to be, what we used to do. But the funny thing is, when when other people see that stuff, because uh, the comment we got, the dude was basically saying, "Bro, you're terrible. You swear too much." And and I'm thinking, I, oh wait, okay, wait, there's aliens around and. They're moving, and things just got a little bit intense. So here we go. We're taking some Overwatch shots. It looks like we're we're doing some pretty good things right now. It's just a Sectoid and a Stun Lancer, but everybody. Okay, she's she's late to the party. She's very late to the party. But my point is, if if you do happen to watch one of our older videos, uh, and and you see that I am you know cursing like a sailor or or you know just whatever what have you just know that I know that I was an asshole when I was uh, three years ago because I'm still an asshole today but when I record myself I keep it to a minimum because I know the internet doesn't like uh, it doesn't pull it the internet doesn't pull its punches okay so we're in we're in a good spot right now this 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 particular uh, round is going pretty well. This is my second attempt at this mission. Uh, and I think I can actually go for a slash, which has an 88% chance of hitting. And that sectoid is weak, so it's going to kill him no matter what. So here we go. Let's, let's do it. It's a little risky, because I could trigger a pod, but we're going for it. Come on. Parkour. Slap. That's 88% for you. That's XCOM. Uh, and that's also probability. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm, uh, what I, now, I could easily kill this thing with... Okay, never mind. Well, I'll, I'll say it anyway. I, I could have killed it with... Uh, there's an ability on my... Uh, on my... My specialist 
called combat protocol and what that does it'll send out the little gremlin the little robot that flies with her it'll send that thing out and it'll zap it but i know for a fact oh, i thought i triggered a pod but bodies. those are bodies the, the containers and the trains this entire facility the aliens are still abducting people from the looks of it they may never have stopped after the invasion those containers look like they have self-contained power cells it could be some kind of stasis system. It's possible at least some of those people might still be alive. Okay, so combat protocol, it deals two damage to humanoid targets, uh, but it deals bonus damage to mechanical targets, and you can only use it twice. It's, got, it's only got two, two, use, two, two charges on it, right? And I know for a fact that there is a mech in this facility somewhere. So what I'm planning on doing is saving the two charges to just completely steamroll over the mech because the mech is very dangerous the mech is uh, especially at this gear level is very powerful uh it's got points of armor and i i don't have that many ways to shred that armor i've got i've got grenades and things i've got uh you know i've got my sniper rifle which is it does a lot of damage it doesn't shred armor but uh it's it's dangerous whenever there's a mech at this stage of the game i just you want to take it out as quickly as possible but anyway uh, yeah, you know, I, I know I used to be an asshole, because I'm still an asshole, no you know? Twice. You, you, you guys that, that watch I Blue Air JGR Game of a Comedy, you only get a small taste. Please don't trigger a pod. Advent has expanded their oh, stop talking about the trains. I'm, don't worry about it. Advent, like they have trains the all Please over the world. Area. It's like the MTA, but bigger. Uh, which is a scary thought, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, you know, you guys only get a, a taste of, of, of the real, the quote-unquote real me, right? There's, there's, there's so much more douchiness to my personality that you just don't know about. And I intend to keep it that way, for better or for worse. Maybe one day you'll find out that I am truly, 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 truly. Ooh. Oh, it's no, it's a cutscene. I'm so nervous. I, these the, the, the Black Sight mission... It's seriously one of the harder missions in the game, and it, like I'm, tr I'm really trying. Oh, I did trigger a pod. I'm trying really hard not to get anybody killed, because I like the squad that I'm building. Ah, oh, he missed. He's blowing stuff up though. I really like the squad that I'm building. Uh, they're just oh crap! I've got guys in half cover and shit. And I, just, I just don't want people to. I don't want to lose anybody, but you know, we're gonna we're gonna play this out as best we can. We we've got a captain, a stun lancer, and I believe a trooper, which is not it's not too crazy. But he's definitely gonna take a shot at him. Oh no, he's gonna mark him, but he's gonna mark him and shoot because he's an asshole. Mm, dodge it. Yes. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, gosh. This my heart is literally pounding. Oh, I, I wish that would have killed him. He's gonna. Ah, oh, he's. Okay, he's just stunned and he took four damage. Well, I've got a med kit, so it's okay. This guy's moving into position. He's gonna take a shot. Okay, well, that obviously wasn't gonna hit anybody. I don't know what's wrong with him. He obviously didn't. Uh, he didn't do so well at Advent Trooper training. Okay, so w I, believe it or not, that was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. That could have been way worse. Uh, and the main reason that could have been worse is because of the stun lancer that could have he could have killed somebody now she's in a good spot she's in full cover so i'm gonna use her to take the shot come on girl you did so well in, in our one of our last missions there you go that's my girl that's stephanie lopez right there she is is hands down the, the best soldier that i've got right now okay so the captain he's in half cover and he's got his little buddy with him Maybe I can I hit them. I can hit them both with this grenade. If all, if things go according to plan, this thing is gonna blow. Is gonna kill the trooper. Is gonna blow up the captain's cover. Yes. It didn't blow up his cover though, so that's not exactly what I wanted to happen. Okay, we've still got people left though. We've still okay. We've got we've got moves that we can make. I could shoot, I could lob another grenade, but that seems excessive. I'm gonna try and take a shot. Here we go, here we go. Come on, come on. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you put me to work. Oh gosh. 
Oh my goodness. Target neutralized. You guys have no idea. Well, maybe you do if you if you. Uh, the RXCOM oh, videos yeah. are not that popular because the only the only time. I screwed myself. Oh no, it's just the turret. It's okay. It's not so bad. Uh, tur turrets don't have that good rate of aim, so I, I'll, I should be all right with that. But I can't really get into position with anybody to even deal with that. I guess I can just move over here and reload. But uh, a lot of times what I've noticed about XCOM playthroughs is that they're not very... They're not very popular unless you already have a fan base for some reason. I don't know what it is, but it's it's this weird thing where only only the people that have been playing XCOM 2 for a long time, and like when it was still in development and everything, uh, get uh, a high amount of views on their stuff. And I, I the the, th the funny thing is, right? Uh, I don't so much care about getting views and stuff. Like, oh, yeah, because. Yeah, if I cared about getting views, I wouldn't be doing this again. Uh, you know, making these things. Uh, I do it because I, I enjoy it, right? But you still pay attention to that stuff, right? You you still got... Okay, so I, I don't want to engage that turret unless I know I can kill it. And I can if I get to the right spot and I can grenade the floor out from under it again. But, you know, I think I'm just going to try and avoid it. On my way. Oh, crap. I shouldn't have moved him. Right, okay, now I'm in range of the turret, and I'm, I don't think I can actually reach it. I messed up. This, this is actually pretty bad. Because <laughs> I need to heal him with the med kit. Uh, but, you know, it, it's this weird thing, right? I, you know, if, if you ever went to a speech where they, they tell you about, uh, uh, you know, how to, how to be successful and how to find happiness, or like, wh whatever those speeches are called, uh, they tell you that... Oh, you should just you should keep your head down, do what you love, don't pay attention to what people say. No, but you do. You you do and you have to. You got to pay attention to what people say about you. And 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 no matter what you do, you're always you're always trying to see you know how how well you're doing, no matter what. There's no way to not want to keep track of what you're doing and how well you're doing. So you, there's a lot of stuff that that this doesn't ring true in real life, you know? Roger that. And I'm getting real philosophical. Maybe this is what happens when I record late at night. You know, when I record in the morning, there's... Oh, crap. These guys are just patrolling. They're coming out for me now. And I'm totally not ready for this. Oh, gosh. So we got a Sectoid, Stun Lancer, and a Trooper. It's not too dangerous, but it's also not ideal because my placement is very bad. I can't really... Okay, Bob Bob's in a good spot, but he can't. everybody's in cover, so it can't really do too much. I do have my flashbang, though, which could prove to be useful. What I'm, I'm going to move him up a little bit. I'm not going to... I'm not going to use him yet, but I'm going to move him up. She doesn't have any grenades left, because obviously she shouldn't. Well, because... Fuck, I clicked the wrong damn soul. I screwed myself. It's over now. I've ruined it. I've ruined it. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. <sighs> Don't make mistakes, people. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Because mistakes, they will bite you in the ass. Okay, so I'm gonna move my other grenadier up. I've got two grenades uh, left with this launcher. Uh, and in an ideal world, I will be able to hit both of them at the same time. And this is an ideal world, and I can hopefully blow up their cover at the same time. And it looks like I did because their icons turned yellow. So that's a little preemptive way to see if you blew up some cover. Okay, the Stun Lancer is almost dead. And we're going to see if we can... I think we can finish him with that shotgun. Here we go. I'm, I'm feeling so good today. I'm playing well for once. For once in, in the history of my XCOM playthroughs, I'm playing well. And I'm making good decisions. And just everything. Look at that. 85% Bob. You take out that pistol. Shoot that rabbit in the face. Mm. Rabbit down. The rabbit is down. And he has been downed by Bob Bob. Okay. 
So, the only thing left is the sectoid, and probably what's going to happen is he's going to run up and he's going to res one of the corpses. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run her over here and put her in full cover. And I'm not going to worry so much about that turret. Hopefully I can get in the building and just pretty much avoid it forever and not have to deal with it. Because it, if I play my cards right, I can actually move around inside the building without the turret being able to see me. And I don't actually have to advance her in the half cover. I could do some risky stuff, but that sectoid is well protected. I, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to get nobody shot out here. All right, sectoid, do your thing. Res the corpse. Oh, you really want that super full cover? Oh, he's is he not resing the corpse? Oh crap! All right, fine, sectoid. Whatever. I don't. I, I don't know if that's better or worse for you or for me, but you know. You do what you feel is best, Sectoid. Uh, not wasting a grenade on him. I could... Look at that. The, the slash is so misleading. And, you know, I actually think the turret can see... Can I slash him from over here? Can I? Can I can. That seems silly. Let's do it. Oh, come Oh, right, I have to right-click. The, the slash thing is a little... It can be a little bit clunky. Yeah, that's... Th okay, no, but there's, there's plenty of space. That wasn't some weird slashing through walls thing. There's actually a gap there. Because I thought what I was doing was kind of cheeky. But it, it turns out... It turns out it was okay. I need to reload. My goodness. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to start inching up. We're, we're being very cautious in this mission right now. Because oh, this is one of the harder ones. Okay, so we're, we're just going to inch everybody up. We're going to put every, make sure everybody's in full cover. <sighs> I, you know, if, if, there, if, I, if there was a way for me to hook up some sort of a heart rate monitor so that you could, so you, so that you could see that I'm actually anxious right now. I'm, I'm on high alert. You know, the, the bodily functions right now are just going all over the place. It's just, oh, it's just so intense. And uh, speaking of intense, XCOM 2 Firaxis, the developers for this game, uh, on the day that I'm playing, not the day that this is released, uh, they did a patch uh, doing some balancing stuff and some uh, overall performance Here enhancements. And I think they worked out uh, pretty, pretty well. I think they worked. Uh, I have been noticing some slightly better frames per second on my potato computer. So that's always a good thing. That's a nice thing to see. Uh, but... Either way, in in time, eventually, I'm going to get an Alienware, man. I got to get that, that good, good, just Alienware. Because I used to build my own computers back in the day, but I haven't. I don't feel like doing it right now. I just want to get some monstrosity from off the shelf that costs $1,200 that can just run everything that's out right now. So in time, at, at some point, ladies and gentlemen, these playthroughs are going to have better graphics. 